The NBA is an ever-changing league and the game of basketball is an ever-changing sport. The actual ball itself is no exception. This ball has undergone many changes throughout the decades, from being a soccer ball to having laces, from four panels to eight panels, but now the ball might have zero leather panels. The future of the NBA might be in the hands of the new Wilson prototype airless basketball. Or maybe this is all just deja vu. The last time the NBA tried to fix something that wasn't broken was with a futuristic ball back in 2006. The National Basketball Association has no problem testing out brand new technology, and this is a good thing. Adapt or die, they say. Hoops changed over time, shorts changed over time, sneakers changed over time, and of course the ball has changed over time. A lot of the changes actually were good, but some of the changes were bad. Cue the 06 nightmare. In 2006, Spalding and the NBA figured out a way, or at least thought they figured out a way, to feature a ball that was made out of cross-traction microfiber. The ball made headlines just like this new airless ball did, and more importantly, it was sneakily introduced during All-Star Weekend one year before the season it was released. Where have we seen this before? Oh, that's right, the 2023 Slam Dunk Contest. The 06 synthetic ball lasted just three months to the start of the 2006 regular season, as many players complained that it roughed up their fingers, skin, and was overall a terrible ball. It was breaking nails when players should be breaking ankles. The ball was quickly discontinued, and the NBA went back to the eight-panel leather ball. So let's compare that story to what's going on with the Wilson prototype airless ball so far. The ball is not yet released to the public, but it has a lot of potential to revolutionize the game. Considering the amount of air each game ball will have will finally be 100% equal and that's zero air for each game. The ball isn't leather, it's 3D printed and the material is elastomeric polymer. This ball has the same dimensions of an official genuine leather ball, but of course it has many small holes on each so-called panel. The Wilson airless prototype is estimated to be around $200 to $250, but it's yet to be released. So who knows what its true price will be once it reaches the market. For the average consumer, the biggest concern about this ball is the outdoor play. Will pebbles get stuck in between each hole? Could the aerodynamics be thrown off with just a tad bit of wind? For the league and indoor play, this ball is claimed to have the same functionality of a genuine leather ball, but claims are just that, claims. But the biggest difference between both balls, the 06 ball versus this new up and coming ball, is that the NBA is not rushing to get this airless ball onto the court for regular season games. I know they've been teasing it slowly in a similar fashion of the 06 ball, and it is possible we do see more All Star Weekend challenges with it in the future, but I don't think a full scale, sudden, abrupt change is coming anytime soon. That doesn't mean it's not coming at all, but I don't think it's coming too soon. The Players Association has the most to say to what ball they want on the court because it's the players themselves who campaign to get rid of that 2006 ball. So if they have issues with the current balls and want to change, the balls will be in their hands, literally. So let me know which ball you prefer for the future of this league, the genuine leather or the airless ball. Don't forget to dunk on that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm Rebound Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later.